Hello guys, my name is Rizky from Good If All and today I'm going to talk about why you need to start a business. One of the reasons why I actually started this channel is the fact that I want to help some of the value creatives out there who are actually thinking of setting up a business or getting a more business related role in their career. Uh, I've been pursuing creative career for about 15 years now. I'm currently running my own creative production company for about five years and hours of former lectures and teaching is definitely one of my passion. This is going to be a new series in this channel whereby I'm going to present two sides of the coins of things. For example, let's say uh, whether you should pursue your passion or not, the difference between a cheap and expensive video production company and so on and so forth. A couple of years back, when I was just starting up my company called Equitive Alt, uh, I actually recorded a video on reasons why you shouldn't set up a business. And of course, in that video, I was actually mentioning uh, typical reasons on why people want to start a business. An example, a, uh, you want to be your own boss, which I believe that it is not true when you're actually running your own company. You will be reporting to many bosses, uh, which are your clients. But in this video, I want to give you some reasons on why you need to start a business or why setting up a business needs to be in your bucket list. Unlike many aspiring entrepreneurs out there, I, setting up a business was never been in my bucket list. I grew up in an in a upper middle class family whereby both of my parents worked in a corporate companies for 30 years, climbed the corporate ladders and basically retired from it. When I was studying, my mindset was to do as much of a part-time projects as possible, do my best in my school, find a good company and probably climb to a bigger company, climb the corporate ladders just like my parents. But of course, uh, uh, throughout the years, I do uh, find a couple of reasons why I think it's better for me to set up my own. And of course, uh, I'm not telling you guys to quit your job right away and set up a company now. I'm a pretty pragmatic kind of a person whereby I always try to do calculated so when I decided to start my own business, I actually do it as a side hustle for two years before I jump into it full time. And this is something that I would actually advise most people to do. So here are a couple of reasons why you need to set up your own company. The first thing, and this is actually my main reason of setting up a company, is that you can actually set up your own company culture. If you work with a company, I am very sure there are certain things in the organizations that you may not like. The honor to work with uh, four companies beforehand. I always have uh, good impressions of my previous companies. Always managed to make uh, long-term friends from uh, each of the companies. But there are a couple of things that I totally don't like about some of the company cultures that I've experienced. For example, let's say one of my ex-bosses used to like to call meetings at 7 a.m. while we actually start work at 9 a.m. He felt that uh, we should start all the meetings early, so therefore when the 9 a.m. starts, we can start to uh, do our work. Uh, another uh, thing that I don't really like from one of my previous companies is the fact that one of my ex-bosses like to do as much as project pitches as possible, regardless how busy we are, regardless whether we can actually do the projects or not. Nowadays, I only pitch for tenders if we were invited to pitch or simply the fact that it is our current downtime. But beside of that, uh, I do find that pitching too many projects is actually pretty pointless. I know really well the chance of getting it is really, really, really slim. I might as well dedicate some of the manpower to do something else. Next is to know your value. I do believe when you are working in a company, uh, you ever heard this kind of uh, term whereby you got to justify your salary. When you're actually setting up your own business, you would know really well what is your value. Uh, when I was starting to do uh, uh, event photography projects, I charged around $100 an hour. So I know really well back then that my time worth $100 an hour. If I were to be hired by a company to work for them full time, I know what kind of salary that I should be asking for and at the same time, I know how can I justify that salary. Next, of course, you may be damn rich next time. There's no guarantee that you can make it uh, in the business. Uh, we, of course, heard about the story that 90% of the business failed. At the same time, we also know that in order for you to be really rich, you need to own a business. With the rise and downfall of crypto, an example, we've seen many people who make a lot of money through it. Uh, but many of us would probably miss the boat for that. There is no telling when is the next opportunity will come in. 
but you can always set up a business anytime. Do your best to make that business a success rather than wishing for a luck. I do believe most of the rich people that you know owns a business. But of course, there's not always guarantee. But the main reason that I want you to take away from this is the fact that when you actually set up a business, you are basically leveraging everybody's time uh, to make money rather than your own time. Next, I think this is one of the most important thing why you need to start a business. We've learned a lot through the pandemic. There are a lot of unexpected things that can happen throughout our journey. But when you have experience starting up your own business, you can start over anytime. And this is what I meant. Uh, I've seen this on all of my uh, richer friends and family members, whereby uh, all of my uh, rich friends have many failures. I've seen some of them actually go bankrupt before, but then they always manage to reach back and become richer than before. Uh, when you are actually understanding the entire process of setting up a company until the part whereby you can actually uh, run a profitable business, you will know the entire process really well and what is needed to go from zero to profitable. If you need to start over, you will be able to start over again. Unlike when you're in a company, uh, I still remember really well when I was working as a designer in a, in a really big company. I, I only know how to do my job really well in that particular capacity and slightly more. But if, if that job is gone, the only thing that I can do is actually to find a similar job. But what if that particular job is pretty much obsolete? It's going to be a pretty tough learning process. Lastly, of course, this is something far and actually this is another really good reason why you need to set up a company. Both of my parents are pretty successful corporate climbers. But the thing about that is the fact that uh, when they retire, uh, me and my sister, we need to start over from zero. One of the things that I'm really hoping to be able to do next time is to pass a legacy to my daughter and it is her job to actually make it bigger. So with that, if you're starting a business this year, I wish you good luck and all the best. If you want to reach out to me, the best method is to reach me out on LinkedIn and I also do a daily behind the scene on my Insta story. Thank you so much for watching and I see you next time.